Good afternoon, everyone. We're gonna talk about uh, my canna Lucifer today. This is a very beautiful canna. It flowers for a long time. It did take a while to grow, so be patient if you have some small ones because it did take a couple of months for it to get to this point. But I wanna talk to you about deadheading cannas and why you need to wait. It's important not to cut right away. Some cannas produce uh, three, four, five stalks which will then become flowers. So you have to be careful, but it is important to deadhead because when you deadhead, you give the force to the new flower. All their energy will go to the new flower. So this is what I'm talking about. I waited to show you. So I should have deadheaded this, but I wanted to show you. So you want to cut here. This is called deadheading your cannas. And here you have a new flower and then this was almost done flowering and you have this one so in total we had one two three four flowers in one can of stem now wait for the whole thing to stop flowering and you'll see them fall off and they'll dry once that's done is when i tell you guys to go ahead and cut just this one all the way down because it's not going to flower anymore this is a beautiful canna because it, it takes a long time uh, flowering. So you're able to enjoy this flower for a long time. Once it's completely done flowering and you dead hit, let's say this one dries, I'm gonna dead, dead, dead hit this one. And then those two will continue flowering. After they're all done, this is what I want you to do. I want you to come down, follow the stem all the way to the bottom, and then maybe just leave about three inches. And this will allow the new rhizomes to come up, which will then flower. And so that's also important to do, but you want to wait. I'll show you this one back here and see how I deadheaded it here, here. So this one just had three, one, two, three. So um, as the rhizomes mature, the flower did get thicker, bigger. Also, someone sent me a message about theirs being really small. Don't worry about it. That's no normal. When cannas start establishing and the rhizomes start getting bigger, the flowers also start getting thicker and they start having more flowers so this is a really very beautiful now this is a new one let me show you this one you would think that this only has one flower so be careful because here you're going to have a second flower and here is going to be a third flower so this one's already developing you can feel them they're kind of hard so touch around and this is kind of hard down here so this is going to be one flower coming up second and the third so this will finish flowering and then these will open i'll deadhead here to give the energy to the new ones and like I said, once they're done flowering, then you go ahead and go all the way to the bottom and then you cut and leave about three inches. And then new babies, if you come down here at the bottom, you will see there's a baby going here. This is a baby, but it doesn't look too great. We're gonna cut the leaves. Also, if your cannas look bad, your leaves, you can go ahead and cut them. Nothing's gonna happen to them. And just clean them up. But this is a beautiful canna. Uh, this is the first year that I've had it, and it's uh, flowered um, even in the middle of the winter. It actually started flowering, I think, in November, uh, December, and we're into January. So this is a hardy candle. Look at the leaves. Very little burn with the cold. Very little burn. So this is a hardy canna. It does get tall. That's another thing to stake your cannas. See, I have a stake here. And you can use this little Velcro or just string, whatever you have. Because if you live in the area where it gets really windy, they are gonna fall off over, I'm sorry, because they are very tall. I see that this is, even though I have it in a pot, it's still very tall canna. So this, this variety is gonna get tall, so you wanna stake them and you'll have a beautiful canna for a long time. I hope this answers a lot of the questions I've been getting uh, with deadheading and when to cut at the bottom. And then Lucifer's just the winner. It's absolutely beautiful. This canna is probably gonna Continue flowering through the summer, spring, and flower in the middle of the winter like it did now. So this is a good one. So I hope this answers everyone's question. Uh, enjoy your cannas. They're beautiful. They flower in Arizona, zone 9B year-round. And that's why I love cannas. Have a great evening, guys.